honest merchants, all praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, you who believe, be mindful of Allah, stand with those who are truthful. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. The religion of Islam encourages people to earn their living and work. It warns against unemployment, idleness, and laziness. Work is a way to develop the universe, create progress of nations, and build civilizations. The Almighty Allah said, it was he who brought you into being from the earth and made you inhabit it. The forms of lawful earning are varied, and among the most common form is trade, which the Almighty Allah called its prophet in the Quran, the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Moreover, Allah called those who travel for the sake of concluding trade as mujahids, for the sake of Allah. In the Quran, Allah, glory be to him, says, some of you travel, though the land seeking Allah's grace, some of you fighting in Allah's way. The Prophet ﷺ was asked, what type of earning is the best? He replied, a man's work with his hand and every transaction which is free from cheating or deception. It is a fish and honor. It is sufficient honor for merchants that our Prophet ﷺ worked in trade with his uncle Abu Talib and with the mother of the believers, Khadija. He, peace be upon him, was the best example of honest merchants. Once a Sayyib ibn, Abi, ibn Abu al Sayyib, a Sayyib, once a Sayyib ibn Abi Sayyib described him saying, you were my partner during the ignorance period, al-jahiliyyah, and you were the best of partners. You did not conceal something or dispute. This means he, peace be upon him, would not conceal a defect in a community, and he did not, and he did use to argue for the sake of falsehood. There are several good qualities. There are several good qualities that an honest merchant should have. There are several good qualities that, that an honest merchant should have. And these qualities include being truthful in buying and selling, as truthfulness begets blessings in trade. As our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has said, both parties in a business transaction have a right to annul it as long as they have not separated. And if they tell the truth and make everything clear to each other, they will be blessed in their transaction. But if they conceal anything and lie, the blessing on their transaction will be eliminated. However, a dishonest merchant who prefer the worldly profits to reward to the reward in the hereafter. A dishonest merchant who preferred the worldly profit to the reward in the hereafter will be, will be among the loser in this life and in the hereafter. His profits will be deprived of blessing and his good deeds will not be accepted from him. The Prophet ﷺ has said, a false oath by the seller may pursue the power to purchase the goods, but that will be deprived of Allah's blessing. He, peace be upon him, also said, He who earns unlawful money, then use it to, a free, to free a slave. So Prophet has said, He who earns unlawful money, then use it to a free a slave and deal well with his relatives, it will be counted as a sin for him. Among the qualities of an, an honest merchant is complete honesty. Complete honesty and clarifying any defect in the commodity, as an honest merchant does not cheat or deceive. 
as our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, the Muslim is the brother of another Muslim. The Muslim, the Muslim is a brother of another Muslim. And it's not permissible for a Muslim to sell his brother goods in which there is a defect without pointing that out to him. Once the Prophet وسلم, passed by a heap of corn, he thrust his hand in the heap and his fingers felt wetness. He وسلم, said to the owner of the heap of corn, what is this? He replied, O oh, Messenger of Allah, these have been drenched by rainfall. He وسلم, remarked, why did you not place this the drenched part of the heap over the corn so that people might see it? He who deceives us is not one of us. Another quality that merchants have to abide by is tolerance. Tolerance in buying and selling and having good manners. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, May Allah show mercy. May Allah show mercy to a man who adopts a kind attitude when he sells, buys, and demands for the repayment of loans. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also said, Shall I not tell you whom the hellfire is forbidden to touch? Shall I not tell you whom the hellfire is forbidden to touch? It is forbidden to touch a man who is always accessible, having plight and tender nature. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds. May Allah, may Allah peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions and followers. Among the qualities of an honest merchant is sincere patriotism. This patriotism is not just a word or slogan to be raised, but rather it's an act of giving and sacrifice. A wise and patriot merchant proceeds in his dealing from a religious commitment and a human feeling, and he does not allow himself to increase his wealth at time of crisis at the expenses of the poor and the needy. He completely avoids all forms of greed, fraud, monopoly, and exploitation. If these defects are rejected and bad at all times, they become much more rejected and heinous sin at the times of crisis. As the Almighty Allah said, O oh, to those who give short measure, who demand for of other people full measure for themselves, but give less than the, they should when it they who wait or measure for other. The Prophet ﷺ has said, He who keep good till the price rises is accursed. In another hadith, the Prophet ﷺ has said, He who trades in a commodity to raise its prices for a Muslim, Allah would put him in the hellfire on the day of judgment. Moreover, we affirm that when an honest and truthful merchant reduces a profit margin to the lowest possible degree at time of crisis, the amount he reduces is considered a charity if he intends so. The Prophet ﷺ has said, the truthful and honest merchant will be with the prophets the truthful and the martyr, the one who cares for the hereafter, avoids cheating and deception, and cares for people's condition, deserves to be among the prophet, truthful ones, and richest people, who are the best with a companion. We also affirm that the honest merchant benefits more from his honesty and truthfulness. We also affirm that the honest merchant benefits more from his honesty and truthfulness than he benefits from his prayers and charities. May Allah save our country, Egypt, and all other countries of the world. Thank you.